So there's something about the Paul brothers just having these absolute weird press conferences. Obviously, we had all the wacky stuff from like Logan Paul, KSI, Logan Paul, Dylan Dennis. Nothing quite gets close to the clips from this press conference. I saw him with his shirt off the other day. He's fat. I thought, did you start training already? He should be lean and mean. He's fat and funky. In the start of the clip here, Mike is just kind of throwing some jabs at Jake, saying that he's fat and funky, kind of. And if you didn't know, I mean, I don't know if I really like Jake Paul, but he does have a very impressive physique. Gone from like a very scrawny, you know, like the Disney fuckboy style to a, a decent, nice heavyweight build. Listen, listen, I started Jake off and I'm gonna finish him. And of course, you know, Tyson saying that he's going to finish him off, which is a little is a little suspect. You know, it's going to lead us right nicely into what we're about to talk about. Mike will be put to sleep and he will feel my power. And I will go down as the man who put Tyson to sleep for the last time. I mean, like Jake Paul, don't like Jake Paul. That was kind of a hard line. You can't you can't lie. Also, it's pretty obvious the proportion of people that want Mike Tyson to win this fight. Obviously, the esteemed Mike Tyson versus Jake Paul. I, I want Mike Tyson to win this fight as well. In my honest opinion, I think it's scripted, so I think Jake will win because he paid out Mike Tyson. But that was a very, a very nice little jab right there. Make up your mind. Were they hard or am I fat? Well, you're fat, but you had hard muscles, okay? But outside your muscles, you're fat. Lay off the weed. It's such a meme press conference. Jake tells him to lay off the weed like he didn't do mushrooms with Mike Tyson. I mean, I'm a huge advocate of both weed and psilocybin. Don't get it twisted. I want to kiss Mike's big juicy lips. He wanted to kiss me? <laughs> he he Indeed. Huh? I don't understand the PR behind why Jake would say this to him. Like, it's so obviously some kind of a bit or some kind of a script or something, because why the f*** did he just say that? I just love how old Mike Tyson's kidding. He's like, he said he wanted to kiss me. Hey! <laughs> it's so funny. Huh? He said he wanted to kiss you. That's so ironic that he said that, because I saw a picture of him dancing at... 16 doing a little dance on YouTube. Stop, stop talking right there. It's salvageable. Don't say another word. And for some reason, I had a reject uh, erection. <laughs> Oh, we're in the end times. We're doomed. It's so obviously bait from both sides. They're probably just, you know, looking for some viral clips to make out of these press conferences, stuff like that. I mean, it's a very, you know, anticipated fight. Everybody wants to watch Mike win. There is definitely a line you should never cross when you're farming clips. And this is, this is probably one of them. And you know, this isn't even a new thing. Mike Tyson has an infamous clip, which I'm about to play you, of probably the best shit talk I've ever heard. You punk ass white boy, come in and tell me that if I fuck you in your ass, you punk white boy, you fuck it. You can't touch me, you're not man enough. I eat your asshole alive, you bitch. Fuck you, you hoe. Come and tell me my face, I fuck you, your ass for that. Everybody, you bitch. Come on, you bitch. You scared coward. You got man enough to fuck with me. You can't last two minutes in my world, bitch. Look at you scared now, you hoe. Scared like a little white pussy. Scared of the real man. I'll fuck you till you love me, fuck it. Now, weirdly enough, for some reason, I don't think this fight is real. Like, the weird press conferences around it, the weird coverage around it, just the way that they talk about it. I mean, it's going to be interesting if it is real. And obviously, like I said, I hope that Tyson wins. But I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you agree. Just something about this whole fight just seems like a meme. It just seems like they're farming for, I don't know, virality. I saw just the other day, you got on social media and you said, I want to address this. So many people. Even the Saudi chief got on social media and said, Mike, forget the script. Beat this guy. What do you say? Tell these people who keep saying that this fight is scripted for Jake Paul to win. Well, just come to the fight and you'll see. Same question. People keep saying that this fight is scripted. Hey, yeah, come on, Jake Paul, Jake Paul, Jake Paul, Jake Paul, Jake Paul, I like that shit, yeah. Hey, I hope y'all keep that same energy when I knock this old man the f*** out.
And for those, Jake, who say it's scripted, what do you say to them? Well, clearly they don't have a high IQ in here, but that's a federal crime, Brian. I mean, I will give it to Jake Paul. He's definitely making the right strides to make himself more known as a boxer than as like a Team 10, you know, douche tuber. So with that, you have to give Jake Paul some credit. He's definitely stepped up a little bit into, into his, you know, new career that he wants to make. And he's got some skills. I mean, there are professional boxers that will tell you that he's not, you know, just this YouTube boxer anymore. Yeah, I don't know. I'm excited to see the fight pop off. I, I hope it's real. I hope it's an entertaining fight, but just something about it, man. I don't think it's real. Make sure to subscribe.